Hello and welcome back to more War of the Ring with your host Walda Richards. Last time we dealt with Lothlorien, which was under attack from the forces of Moria. Me they mostly contained the goblins, orcs and a few trolls here and there. It wasn't much, but when again, then again we kinda dealt with it kinda fast. So we didn't have a chance to get real feisty. We have three missions available right now, and there's one more which we cannot uh, have uh, at the moment. We cannot do it right now because we have to beat the other three first. So let's get on with it then. We have to deal with Minas Morgul, Liberation of Upborn and Helm's Deep. Which one would you like to go for? First doesn't matter because we're gonna do the one that is easily the best mission from the good guy campaign, Helm's Deep. Saruman has unleashed all of his forces from Isengard to assault the Hornburg within Helm's Deep. His forces have crushed all resistance on their march toward the stronghold. As the foul army draws near, Aragorn, Gimli and Legolas prepare the defense. In case you do not know what Helm's Deep is all about or have forgotten for some reason, let me give you a very short synopsis. Helm's Deep is a place in the mountains, a valley of sorts, and there's this castle known as the Hornburg, which is known for its legendary status of being incapturable. Ever since the thing was built, no army has been able to take it. Probably because it is in a very defensible position. However, it does have some key weaknesses which the army of Isengard will definitely try to exploit. So let's deal with that bullshit. Let's kick some ass. Legolas, what do your eyes see in this darkness? I cannot see much. An awful haze lingers in the air. The night feels thick and darker than usual, as if someone has thrown a shroud over the land. Bah! Just bring me some orcs! The darkness won't protect them from my axe! We know they are out there, and the attack will come soon. Through the west gate is the Deeping Wall. That is the most likely place they will try to breach our defenses. Gimli, I think your axe will find its best use there. Legolas, stay behind Gimli and use your bow to stop any orcs that break through. I will stay here and defend the main gate. And so our mission begins. This is probably the only mission that has an official timer that you have to worry about. You see, we have uh, several objectives which have to be done in a specific time limit. Our current one is that you have to protect the culvert which is under the deeping wall. The culvert is that wooden little gate which separates the water and us out. You know, it keeps bitches out and keeps the water in. Yeah, it just lets the water flow, but uh, keeps the orcs out. That is the culvert. We need to keep that safe for 5 minutes. Also we have some special objectives. Gimli, Legolas and Aragorn must survive throughout the entire mission. Their death is unacceptable. And that is simply because of one thing. We do not possess a base. We have units. And there are some buildings here and there, but they are technically not ours, so we are baseless. We only have what we are given right now, and we have to make the most out of that. So let's do that, but first, you might want to press number pad 5 to fix the view on the camera, because it just looks fucking dumb, and I think I need to lower the sound effects a little bit once again. Yeah, here we, we go. go Keep a close eye on all of your heroes, they must not die. I will exactly. 
If any one of them dies, your mission is over. Let us go. Now you may want to spend some time around here with Gimli and Legolas because this place, this particular spot right here, happens to be a spawning point for the enemy forces. So what would? So who's gonna protect the culvert? Why the archers on the walls and the Gondorians down at the culvert, of course. But that brings up another question. If we are baseless and cannot build any more units, how exactly do we, well, maintain the protection? It's obvious that we cannot keep our units just alive all the damn time. It's impossible to do that. And uh, you'd be correct to assume so, but don't worry. Reinforcements will periodically arrive on scene to assist you. Contains a bunch of units which you'll have to distribute evenly throughout the area. Gimli leveled up. Now I usually move Gimli Legolas here because they are... They are definitely useful there. They can level up and uh, get rid of a lot of enemies that would normally try to climb up on the deeping wall. So if anyone needs leveling up, this is the best place to send them at. Unfortunately, we can't send Aragorn to do that right now because he's on the main gate. And he's kind of separated from the main group right now. This is also the mission where you definitely want to get the heroic legacy for your heroes. It's a really good idea. And if you can get that going, well you got some mad power. On your fingertips. We are under attack. Gimli certainly can benefit from that. I will do what I can. Just give me a roadblock next. My axe grows restless. I especially like the the dialogue bit with Gimli on the cutscene that we just saw. Let us go. Just give me some orcs. We are under attack. <laughs> It's so not uh, stereotypically dwarven. He doesn't give a shit about your shrouds of darkness or whatever, just give him some orcs. But yeah, as you can see, enemies will definitely keep trying to besiege the place and try to climb up on the deeping wall as well to get rid of your archers. Make sure your archers are mostly sticking together or if you're if you're afraid of them getting destroyed you can move your heroes back onto the wall it's all right you don't have to do what i'm doing although i do have to say that what i'm doing it's a decent enough strategy i mean i already got two of the heroes on heroic legacy and gimli is already maxed out on the level you have my own He's got 40 attack and uh, 9 armor. He is ballin' with that damage and armor. Nothing can destroy this dwarf. Reinforcements come in pretty fast actually, so if you're playing reasonably smart, you shouldn't have a problem with the reinforcements really. Like right now, I have a lot more units than I started with and that's mostly because most of them didn't die. Just 23 more seconds and we are pretty good to go. Damn, look at that damage. Of course this is a bit dangerous so we might need to send in a, a Legolas to help out. But the stun attack is definitely helpful here for Gimli. Alright, we protected the culvert. Now because we completed this objective, we've gotten ourselves an armor upgrade for the normal units. Oh, here comes Grishnak. He's gonna fuck up some shit. 
I wonder if it's possible to kill him before he actually does that. Despite our best efforts, the culvert got blown up. But now we have a new objective. We have to kill 80 orcs within 3 minutes to establish dominance. Jesus, we got Urukai in, in the area. We have to do something about this. Shit's going down. But I think we got this. I cannot. I cannot. Damn it. I cannot. We got the road. There we go. We already got 44 orcs. Make that 45 real soon. 46 actually. And we have two minutes left, so really, you don't have to worry about the majority of your objectives in this game. If you're playing smart, you will do it. But pretty easily. But now that the culvert is destroyed, we don't really have to worry about the units wasting tons of time just getting across. It's much easier to get people around now. There's something going on here. Alright, these guys are trying to destroy the Hornburg Gate, but for some reason their damage makes the Hornburg Gate healthier. It heals them up. Must be a programming error or something. Does not matter though. Because we're doing reasonably well. And I think I wasted that shot. We only need about uh, 13 more orcs to finish this up. My sword is yours. It does help a lot that there are some ballista towers next to the walls as well. Because ballista towers are upgraded normal towers which also have the knockbacking feature. Some of their shots actually knock back enemies. It's very useful. Now that we killed 80 orcs within the time limit, we got ourselves an attack upgrade for all of our units. And from here on, the counter stays, so now you'll be able to see just how many orcs you actually killed. Pretty cool. The music is quite triumphant in this area, I gotta say. So it's another Friday and uh, things are happening on Twitter once again. The fall of Friday is a thing. I'm still not quite certain how it works, but it doesn't matter. Cause we, gotta get we cannot hold the wall! We must fall back! Ah! Retreat! I guess it will be easier to cleave orcs with strong stone at my back. Oh shit! They brought in the battering tent. We have all been relocated to the main gate now because uh, shit happens. We lost the deeping wall, like in the movie. However, we also got access to Aragorn, so now we can actually heal our units with his uh, King's Foil ability. However, we do have to hurry the fuck up because we got ourselves a situation. The gate is currently being rammed for massive damage by the battering ram. It must be destroyed. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. I would like to give Aragorn heroic legacy. There we go, he benefits from heroic legacy the most actually. What do you wish? So it's a good idea to give them that stuff. Now, the battering ram isn't particularly powerful. It will take some time to destroy the gate. 
but you really should focus fire on that fucking thing because it is a dangerous uh, well thing if it destroys the gate you will lose the mission so make sure you don't lose uh, the gate I gave the archers the, the wind because now it gives them the ability to knock back units on a hit well, not anymore, but I can give him some more after it recharges. I guess there's some kind of a downtime before you can use more abilities. I could actually summon the giant tent already, but that would be a waste of resources. Anyway, our current objective is to protect the main gate. And defend Hornburg until dawn. They're still getting periodic uh, reinforcements, and even King Fjordin is available. However, he's a non-controllable hero in this case. He's packing some heat on himself. He'll only come out to fight, and uh, there are too many enemies around the main gate. So, yeah. Whenever shit gets real, he'll come out to assist you. Other than that, he won't do a damn thing. We should probably relocate these cunts over here so that he wouldn't get fucking murdered. Where's Gimli? There he is. Damn it. Here we go. Let's heal Gimli because he could definitely make use of that. Burn out your king! We are the fighting Orakai! We will fetch him from his hole if he doesn't come! Bring out your skulking king! The king stays or comes at his own will! Get you gone, and return to your evil! Get down, or we'll shoot you from the wall! I have still this to say. No enemy has yet taken the Hornburg. Depart, or not one of you will be spared. Not one will be left alive to take tidings back to the north. You do not know your peril. <laughs> so you think you're real tough, eh? Yes. We are under Unfortunately, this cutscene for some fucking Choose reason teleports Aragorn out of the battlefield. But look at that, he was only level 4 last I checked on him, now he's level 8. Seriously, this mission is the best when you want to level up your characters, your heroes. But it's also one of the harder missions because of all the all the shit that's happening here. Oh, what's happening with this guy? Boom! Damn, 40 damage. Shit, Fyodin knows how to fucking fight. Too swiftly. I will go. We still got about 5 minutes left to defend this place, but we are doing reasonably well. Unfortunately, I couldn't say about our I couldn't say the same about our forces, because right now we got mostly archers. One Gondorian and one Rohan Rider. No wait, two Gondorians. And they're going to die soon, so... Can you see why archers are the best fucking unit in the game? You should be able to by now. Now we are introduced to a new enemy type, the Orukai. They are dangerous because they have uh, a passive knockback ability. With each shot they will do knockback to any of your units that actually can suffer from knockback in the first place. Riders of Rohan cannot suffer from knockback because they are on a horse. So they are kinda difficult to knock back in the first place. But uh, units like the archers or Gondor swordsmen, they can definitely suffer from that shit. So gotta be careful with that. And a large force of Urukai can easily decimate your forces without even having a, a chance to land a hit. You really gotta be careful with these guys. 
And they can also be upgraded. Or to have more attack damage and more armor. They're the ultimate archers. You really have to be careful with them, or else you risk death. And pretty fucking instantaneous death too. What the hell is going on here? You have my sword. We are under attack. I will go. That's a lot of fuckers. Shadow is closed. What do you wish? Immediately. A wise plan. Let's get some blessed wind in this bitch. Yeah, now we're sending them flying around. But this is a ridiculously large force of orcs. Gotta be careful. Don't tell me you cannot. Yes, you can. There you go. For some reason, blessed wind also affects melee units, but they really don't have any... Well, not back, so I don't know why it even shows up as a thing. Probably a programming limitation of sorts. There's a lot of goblins, Jesus. We're getting decimated here, we have to fall back. As you request. Choose as you will. It's a good thing we get the reinforcements, because if we didn't, we would have some trouble. Alright, this might not do much, but anyone who comes in will get severely damaged. Brambles are good for crowd control, like I said. And in this place, it's definitely worth it, because there's a lot of melee units. And even the archers can be lured into this mess. Look at this. As we walk through, they take a lot of damage. They really suffer greatly from that. Shit, now they're getting plus 19 from that heroic legacy. Damn. Oh wait, there's also that extra buff. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I was just sitting there. Whoa, that's a lot of fucking extra damage all of a sudden. Alright, we kind of managed to survive the the majority of the attack. It's pretty cool. However, we're not quite over yet with these fuckers. It just so happens that the enemy is continuously attacking us, and we still have 50 seconds to survive. So, keep your wits about you, motherfuckers. Failure is not an option. Gotta win. Oh, and the rules fury actually gives damage to, well, gives extra damage to everyone, but it gives extraordinary damage to wraiths, uh, black riders, and uh, and heroes. Ten more seconds, and you're good. What makes this mission a bit more annoying is that your units love to scatter all over the place. Let's try to doing the garden mode. I am done with cowering behind these walls. And I will not end up here, taken like an old badger in a trap. When the dawn comes, I will ride forth. Maybe we shall cleave a road. We'll make such an end as will be worth a song. If any be left to sing of us hereafter, will you fight by my side, son of Erathon? I am with you to the end. And with King Theoden comes out the Riders of Rohan, the ultimate of reinforcements. They are here to kick some serious ass. We have survived until dawn, but this fight is not quite over yet. There's still a lot of orcs to deal with. The 
doesn't look like they're gonna yes. stop coming in anytime soon, actually. Yes. Should probably tell yes. these guys to do guarding mode here as, as well. Request. Once again, Theoden is not controllable, but now he's sitting outside of it. Outside of a keep. And he is helping you directly in battle, which is very nice. I like that shit. And he's got hell of a punch now. Look at that shit. Oh. Behold! Gandalf is come again! Oh yeah. An objective has been completed. We have successfully defended Hornburg. But this fight, like I said, isn't quite over yet. Now Gandalf has returned with Erkebrand and an army of Rohan. Also, he brought some horns from the Fangorn Forest. Now you must use these reinforcements to, un to utterly destroy the remainder of the enemy forces. The horns will spawn in uh, now. And all of these units are controllable by you. So use them to your heart's content. Just keep in mind, they can still die. However, all of the horns in this area can use tree form to their advantage. So I would suggest doing that, because some of them start out with quite a bit of lo low health. And it would kind of suck if they all died, you know. I mean, they're, they're good old buddies. Now this is the tidbit that was actually in the book, but was not in the movie. In the book, they mention that uh, the trees uh, sitting just outside of the valley come to life and beat the living the shit out of all of the orcs that decide to go through. However, in the movie, there was no such thing for some reason. I don't get why. Maybe there was a thing like that in the extended edition, but in the regular edition, nah. There was no such thing. Ready to ride. Forward. But here we go. Now we have uh, the entire map unlocked. Because before the map was kind of locked up. Just say when. And we have utterly decimated the enemy forces. Ready for battle. At once. Urkerbrand is a hero that will show up in another mission, the liberation of Upborn, and he has an ability to improve uh, the stats of all Rohan riders temporarily. Well, all the ones that are around him, of course. So we're gonna send these guys along with the trees to do some massive damage. Good afternoon, Orc Dope Pushers! Gross Street OGs come to do some damage. Not one of the enemy was spared. Your enemy is vanquished. Congratulations! Damn, look at all those fate points. With Gandalf's timely return and the help of horns from Fangorn Forest, the men of Rohan were saved and the forces of Saruman defeated. While the shadow of malice still loomed over the lands of men, the victory at Helm's Deep brightened their hearts and brought them hope. I don't see why not, after such a kick-ass fight, who wouldn't to get hope? So the enemy had about uh, 770 units, and somehow they lost 790. They lost 20 more units than they actually had, but they managed to kill about 118 of ours. Kinda sucks. Well, what can you do? It just so happens. But here we go, successfully defeated Helm's Deep. 
it always takes about 25 minutes to beat this because of all the timers and shit you can't really speed run the mission but what can you do next we'll be doing the liberation of upborn it's a bit of a slow mission really